Registered Phenomena Code 243 Object Class Alpha Yellow Hazard Types Biohazard Organic Hazard Sentient Hazard Ideological Hazard Containment Protocols RPC-243 is to be contained in a 34 by 34 by 72 cm terrarium. There is to be a 5 cm layer of loose tropical soil substrate, as well as various plants, branches, and other foliage which will be placed throughout the tank. The terrarium is to be spot cleaned on a weekly basis, and the terrarium undergo a complete disinfection and the soil substrate replaced on a bi-weekly basis. A spot clean refers to only cleaning the visible spot or waste by hand without subjecting the terrarium to a full clean, such as the removal and washing of foliage, and replacement of substrate. This enclosure should be kept between 15 and 26 degrees Celsius, and maintained in a 60-70% humidity range. Authority staff authorized to maintain and feed RPC-243 are to wear a Level B hazmat suit. Description: RPC-243 is an arboreal species of lizard which resembles Corellopha ciliatus, more commonly known as the crested gecko. If a human approaches RPC-243, it will trigger the release of an anomalous pheromone which affects the human psyche. Subjects affected by RPC-243 show an almost obsessive interest in 243's well-being during the initial phases of contamination with subjects describing feelings of extreme anxiety when not within close proximity of RPC-243. Affected individuals will incessantly forage for food, such as fruits or insects for RPC-243, and will attempt to safeguard RPC-243 from predators at all times under their watch. Subjects who experience excessive exposure will neglect their own basic needs in order to further care for RPC-243. This often results in lost sleep, hygiene, and in some cases the urge to eat or drink. The later phases of exposure cause an adverse anatomical effect to individuals, beginning with the esophagus widening to approximately 7 cm in diameter, and the stomach expanding to create open spaces of up to 10 cm diameter, followed by the hardening of all internal organs, which develop a leathery texture. In the final stage of exposure, RPC-243 will use the affected individual as shelter and a place of reproduction. Addendum 1 Regarding Testing Procedures In order to get a better understanding of the chronology of RPC-243's infection process, a series of tests are to be performed using Level 0 personnel. In both instances, one Level 0 personnel will be placed in a 25 by 25 by 4 meter room with an instance of RPC-243. In Test 1, the subject will remain in the testing chamber until the full cycle of RPC-243's infection process ends. In Test 2, the subject will be removed from the testing chamber while still in the early stages of infection and carefully monitored for any further changes in behavior or anatomy. RPC-243 Exposure Observation Log 1 Begin Log Day 1, 12 PM Subject enters the testing chamber. Subject begins asking questions as to the nature and duration of the test. RPC-243 begins releasing pheromones. 12.03 PM Subject abruptly ceases inquiries and shifts focus to RPC-243's terrarium approaching and examining the contents of the tank. 12.05 PM Subject's inquiries as to the contents of terrarium. Head researcher Dr. B responds, informing the subject of RPC-243's existence. Subject remains intent on examining RPC-243's terrarium. Subject occasionally breaks observation to explore testing chamber but focus eventually returns to RPC-243. 12.45 PM Subject's focus has now completely shifted to RPC-243. Subject requests supplies in order to care for RPC-243. Supplies are provided. Day 2 8 AM 
Subject awakens and approaches RPC-243's terrarium. A spray bottle is then used to humidify terrarium. Preceding this, Subject sits on the bed and maintains visual contact with RPC-243's terrarium until 9 p.m. 9 p.m. Subject begins to fill RPC-243's food bowl with the provided fruit mix. Miss the terrarium and returns to bed maintaining visual contact with RPC-243 for an additional three hours before sleeping. Day 7, 12 p.m. Subject has maintained ritual humidifying and feeding RPC-243. Noticeable bloating of the neck and stomach become visible. Subject complains of pain coming from these areas. Day 10, 12 p.m. Subject complains of inflexibility in the skin and dryness and rigidity of the mouth. By 12 p.m., subject describes feeling a notable lack of energy. Day 13, 5 p.m. Subject collapses against the testing chamber's southern wall. Mouth fixed open, unable to close. The neck and stomach have expanded exponentially. RPC-243 enters through subject's mouth. End log. After the autopsy of subject and eventual recovery of RPC-243, it was discovered the esophagus and entire digestive system had expanded and hardened. RPC-243 was discovered in the subject's stomach, which had expanded to 10 to 15 cm. No digestive fluids were found in subject's body. RPC-243 Exposure Observation Log 2 Begin Log Day 3 3.30 p.m. Security teams are sent in to collect subject. Initially, subject offers protest, expressing concern for RPC-243. After it becomes apparent subject will be separated from RPC-243, subject begins to resist violently, repeatedly stating the care of RPC-243. Subject is quarantined with medical staff observing subject 24-7. Day 4, 2 a.m. Subject continuously voices concern over RPC-243's well-being, with requests to view RPC-243 being the most frequently asked question. Intensity and frequency of requests lessen throughout the day. Day 6, 12 p.m. Subject has stopped showing concern over RPC-243, and has returned to a state prior to exposure to RPC-243. End log.